goodies. Today is Friday favorites and also a mini haul as well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. I just want to thank you so much. I just posted my giveaway two days ago and if you haven't um, entered the giveaway yet, I'm going to link it right here so be sure to go check it out because I am giving away a Michael Kors wallet. Um, some fun makeup things that I really enjoy, like the Maybelline eye tattoo, like the limited edition ones. Definitely go check that out. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the sweet, kind comments that I've been receiving. I'm not going to be responding to any of the giveaway comments, but please know that I do read every single one of those. Every single entry I read, and I've really been appreciating your guys' comments, so thank you so much. Also, I didn't mention this on the giveaway itself, but I did leave it in an annotation. Um, but I just wanted to let you know again, you can enter a second entry on my Twitter account. I just recently made one this week, um, a Twitter account, and I will, actually I think it was last week I made it. I'll link the name right here. It's at honeybee underscore buzz with three Z. So all you have to do to get the extra entry on my Twitter account is to follow me on Twitter and then just tweet me something to the effect of please enter me in your giveaway, anything to that effect. And then you will get an extra entry into the giveaway. So definitely take advantage of that. And I've been tweeting a lot. I never thought that I would be a Twitter person, but I've really liked it so far. So definitely follow me. Okay, so first off for Friday favorites, I want to talk about my accessories. This gorgeous scarf is a floral scarf that has corals, pinks, and kind of tan tones to it. It's actually a floral, I think I just said it's a floral scarf. Anyways, it has flowers on it. It's a very lightweight scarf, and I just bundled it, like twisted it around like this. I really, really love it for the fall, and it's light enough to wear during the spring too, so you can transition it later, but I really, really love this, and I got it for, I think it was like 14 bucks at Target, so awesome deal. Speaking of Target, I've also bought these little bow earrings, and I'm going to do a close-up right now. So this is what they look like. Really cute have great dimension to them. They have a little bling stone in the center. I've literally worn these almost every single day this week. I have different ones on today because I wanted to do a zoom in for you guys. I love them so much. And apparently they're kind of like a Kate Spade knockoff because she has earrings just like them. And those, believe what those were $12.99. They also had them in silver. I might go get those because that's how much I love them. I also got this awesome watch and I will do a close up next to me here. This watch was only $14.99 and it looks very similar to the Michael Kors that's out there that has this kind of detail to it. It has like a link detail, a gold face, like the three little circles inside. Anyways, I'll do a zoom in so you guys can really check it out, but I really love it. The next non-makeup favorite this week has been the Freeman Feel Beautiful Facial Clay Mask in Chocolate and Strawberry. I have only been able to find this at Ulta. I checked Walgreens and CVS for you guys. I didn't see this actual, I don't want to say flavor, this um, chocolate and strawberry one. They did have the Freeman masks, but the different scents. This one smells just like chocolate. I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like a Frosty, like from Wendy's, if you know what I'm talking about, or kind of like hot chocolate. That's what it smells like. I don't really smell the strawberry aspect to it, but I do smell the chocolate. And this is a deep pore cleansing mask. Really, really like this. Used this twice this week, and I did feel a difference. My face felt incredible. And this was only $3.99 at Ulta, so definitely go check this out. I'll do a zoom in for you. So that's what it looks like. And then it just looks like a very kind of milk chocolatey mask. And I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see me with my mask from Instagram this week. Okay, so now on to the mini haul slash makeup favorites for the week. First off, I have been loving this set of blushes. And they, Tarte came out with some holiday collection sets at Sephora. They just came out this week, or it might have been this past weekend. You can't find them online. However, this one is sold out online. I had to go to my Sephora store locally to get this one. And they just put it out. I was so lucky. It's $35, and you get four different mini blushes from Tarte. And these three are more blushes. This one is more of a highlighter. I have been using these all week, and I love them just as much as any of my other Tarte blushes. So I'm going to show you some quick swatches and show you them individually so you guys can decide if you want to check them out. 
Okay, so the first one is an angelic. And really pretty kind of champagne packaging. Here's the color. As you can see, it has some kind of gold flecks in it. So, so pretty. I do have it in my highlight today. As you can see, it just gives such a gorgeous sheen. And there it is right there. I'm not sure you can see that, but it just gives a great golden glow to your face. So definitely love that. The next one is this sort of hot pink berry shade. And this is in the color Fantastic. And these are the Amazonian clay blushes. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And they're supposed to last 12 hours. I don't know if I've ever worn one for 12 hours, but I have worn it for like around like nine hours and they do definitely stay all day. So here is that one. And some of you may be like, oh, it kind of looks like the blush Amuse that they have out. It's definitely more of like a purpley pink um, rather than just hot pink. These are so soft, I love them. So there is that one. I think it's coming off more purpley in the swatch, but it's much more of a fuchsia purple color. I might have to insert pictures at the end of this so you guys can see the color more vibrantly. The next blush is in Magic. And it's just like your perfect flush cheek kind of look. It looks like this. And you definitely need to use a light hand with this one because it's nice and pigmented. And last but not least is this really nice. And last but not least is this really pretty kind of tan sparkle blush. It's called Stellar. Stellar? Stellar? I think that's how you say it. And if you're wondering if this is comparable to Exposed, it has some similar tones to it, however, it's a bit more plummy. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it here, but if you want me to do like a comparison for you in the future, I can, like on my blog. But it's definitely different than Exposed, but just as beautiful. There it is at the top there. So that's all four of the beautiful blushes that you get in the set. I think it's an amazing deal, so I definitely would suggest that you go on and try to find that. Okay, and then I went to MAC this week because the Marilyn Monroe collection came out. And I honestly didn't get that many things. I only got two things from the Marilyn Monroe collection and one thing from, one more thing from the Office Hours collection. The um, reason I didn't get a lot from the Marilyn Monroe is that it was sold out really quickly. I mean, if you guys tried to find it online, you know that it sold out instantly. And in stores, I went at 10.15, they opened at 10. They had only like one thing left at my store. I had to go to a whole other location to get the lipstick. I only got the blush at one location and the lipstick at another. And they only had the nude left. So yeah, definitely if you see something from Marilyn Monroe collection and they still have it available, grab it because you're never going to see it again pretty much. So the first one is this, look at this gorgeous packaging first off. Really beautiful. Something that I'm definitely going to keep. And this blush is in Legendary. And it's kind of like a shiny packaging instead of like the matte um, like kind of packaging MAC usually has. And there's a kiss inside. Is that not cute or what? Love it. And this blush is not for everyone. I will say that if you're a darker skin tone, this probably might come off a little powdery on your skin. So I'd only suggest this for um, lighter tone skins. Look at it. It also has her picture on the front of it. And this is just a gorgeous, light, peachy tone. I'll bring it back here so you guys can see. I would really like this when I'm wearing a bright red or like plum lip this fall. So it just gives you a nice nude flush of color. And I will swatch this as well. And there it is right there. So just a very soft, peachy nude color to your cheeks. And the only other thing I got from the Marilyn Monroe collection was this lipstick. And this is actually a sleeve that comes off. But as you can see, the packaging is also shiny. 
and it's in the color Pure Zen. And this is the only nude um, lipstick from the collection. There were four other color lipstick colors. Um, there's like two reds and two kind of plummy wine colors. Those were all sold out once I got there. But honestly, the nude is what I'm going to use the most anyways. And I have it on my lips today. I love it so much. And I kind of wish I didn't love it so much because it's limited edition. Anyways, there's a little kiss in the inside of the lipstick box as well. And this is something that you want to cherish and keep forever. It's just so gorgeous. Um, it has her signature right there and then a picture of her. It's just beautiful. And here's the color. It's sort of, it's a bit pinkier than Shy Girl, but it still has that really pretty peach tone nude that I, you know, you guys know that I love my peachy, my peachy nudes. So there it is right there. And like I said, I also have it on my lips. Really, really love it. Would recommend this. And then on my cheeks today as my blush, I have this Pro Longwear blush. This was from the Office Hours collection that just recently came out and it's in Stay Pretty. And this was actually hard for me to find as well. I had to go to the other location that had the lipstick and they luckily had this. I was very happy. And it's just a really gorgeous, soft pink. And yeah, and I have that on my cheeks today. And these are supposed to last six to eight hours. And I have, so far, it's been on for about four hours and it's looking the exact same as it did when I put it on this morning. So really love these as well. And that's it for the haul favorites. But I did have one more makeup favorite to share with you guys this week. And this is by Urban Decay and it's in the color Free Love. And I did get this off of Outlook a little bit ago when they had the Urban Decay sale, but it's just a gorgeous peachy toned gold glitter shadow. And I actually have this in my crease today with Cork by MAC. And I've been wearing this all week as like my go-to everyday eye. And what I do is I put Kitten by Stila on my lid, then I use Cork, which is a matte brown by MAC in my crease to blend and then put this blended on top of it and it just opens up my eyes it gives it that really pretty glow I feel I just really love this as a blending crease color so if you're looking just to spice up your nude eye a little bit this would be perfect for that okay guys so that's all for my Friday favorites this week no fails this week hopefully you're okay with that and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and don't forget to enter my giveaway bye